From Las Vegas, it's Let's Talk News Now with Rick and Ella. Good morning, Las Vegas. It's Let's Talk News Now because if you're talking about it, well, that means that we're talking about it right here. And speaking of people talking about things, Ella, no, it's not about you this time. Randy Travis, <laughs> Randy Travis did drive. He was charged with um, driving under the influence and. Uh, okay, that's not good. No, no, it okay. isn't. But what makes it worse is he was then found naked. <laughs> what? And started fighting the police officers. And I'm thinking, really, you can get really seriously injured fighting with someone who has clothes and weapons when you are that vulnerable. Or a bunch of them and full authority and everything. Sword fight. I, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say a single word about any of that. Yeah. I, no, just, I, I, I like to say is another embarrassing moment for yet another major yeah. celebrity. Oh, I think what was worse was when he walked out of the police station in scrubs, no shoes on, <laughs> and a hat. I'm like, this is a bad day for him. Like, please. Well, yeah, yeah. Dude. Yeah, yeah it is. It, it, it is kind of a bad day. <laughs> By the way, I was also making comment. Talk about kind of ironic things, interesting things. I made a comment to our outstanding crew here that gets us, you know, set to do yeah. the show. And, Thank you, and I'm Thank not going to say who, but I said, wow, these guys are absolutely impeccable in everything that they do. <laughs> and one yells out, he goes, so if it's impeccable, what's peckable? <laughs> when is it really peckable? <laughs> what can I tell you? Well, it depends on what you're talking I have this little bird that flies outside my window. I don't know what they're called, the, the big beaks and they kind of hover. Yes. And they're led by their yes. beaks, so. Yes. They peck. And they? that makes it peckable. Exactly. Okay, I'm really sorry I asked the question. Now, I thought it was funny the first time. <laughs> <laughs> That's not, I was um, stretching it. <laughs> there you go. Now, uh, some of the things are going on, though. I'm really, really happy with the way the whole world turned all their attention to the Olympics. But at the same time, there were some stories that were going on, that were going on, that ended right. up like what I refer to as story number two or story number three because of the Olympics. When it should have been. Otherwise, it would have been you know, a top story. One of them is that occurred right here in our neighboring state, in Arizona. We all remember two years ago when uh, Gabby Gifford was attacked. Yeah. Uh, and it was Congressperson- just over a year ago, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, Congressperson yeah. Uh, Gabby Gifford which ultimately changed her entire life, her husband's entire life, and even her um, her position as a congresswoman yeah. and all the impact it's had there. There was actually a resolution now to this case. And Finally. to say whether one is comfortable with it or not comfortable with it is a whole other story, of course. But here's what's ended up happening, and that is that uh, her assault, uh, her, uh, yeah, the person who attacked her. Oh uh, yeah, assailant. Assailant, thank you. Uh, has in fact is going to be going to prison. Uh, they've bypassed an entire trial, and in wow. doing so, he is going to be taking a plea deal. Now, this is because the man was actually schizophrenic, okay. and it took time with forced meds and forced food, and his own defense team, where even a judge would even could even honestly say that this man knew what he was doing, or even knew what was going on in the courtroom. One of the laws are is that, that someone who's in court must have the capability of at least understanding right. what is going on. Uh, yeah, okay. to understand what is going on in the case. So now that that has happened, uh, a plea deal has been put in place. As it turns out, uh, Congressperson Gifford is in fact sanctioned this and said this, she's fine with the deal that they have. So there will not be the long drawn out trial and this gentleman will not be facing the death penalty, but rather be time in prison. So, um, it, because he's got mental issues, will he go to a regular prison? You know, and I checked with some attorneys and so on. I'm not sure what Arizona law is. It's really Arizona law. It's state by state law as to whether or not the states then will acknowledge it as someone who needs to be institutionalized right. or someone who will actually go into a prison system. Okay. Um, because if he wasn't even able to cope in prison in um, a courtroom, mm -hmm. I think prison would be like a place that would crush. Like, what, certainly one of the one of the criticisms of our prison like, system has been is that oftentimes people go in it's worse than than you know than not. I mean, it's just, yeah. it's amazing. Anyway, so I just thought I'd share that piece of information. A conclusion, anyway, to that particular case. Hey, and now for you folks, sit back, relax, get a cup of coffee chance to put a smile on your face and enjoy your day as we're getting started on this Tuesday. We have next coming up um, on, our, on our show, we have none other than Mark Love is going to be here with us, along with uh, Evan Davis and Rosie Rogers. We'll be back right after this.